We got bunnies here at the campground. Look at this. Wild bunnies, and they come up to you. Whoa! Look at this. Whoa! Whoa! All of that coming up next. Leslie Adventures, Black Regional Park. Alright friends, welcome to another episode of Leslie and Adventures. We're here um, in our house. We're gonna get the camper loaded up. We are heading towards Blythe Island Regional Park in the Brunswick area in coastal Georgia, which is in between Jacksonville and Savannah. Uh, let's get this puppy loaded up and then we'll get back to you guys. What's up babe, where are we going today? Blythe Island Regional Park, see you there. We're all set up. Let's do a final walkthrough right now, make sure everything is working in proper order. Everything looks good back here, all the lights working. The camera working. That's our camera right there by Halo View. And we're off to G8, baby. Let's go. to our rest area and look who pulled up fernando what's up guys fernando and his wife mari hey they're on. antique uh avian. avian all right let's get it right it's not an airstream avian and we're going to our next stop all right good morning Coming to you live from rest area on mall marker 133 here in Fort Pierce Plaza, I believe so, quote me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this is where we spent the night here uh, last night. Uh, there goes our friend Fernando here, ourselves. Let me show you our... So yeah, this is where we spent the night here last night. We're gonna get on the road right now. We probably got about a four hour drive. We're gonna stop in Bucky's in Daytona and then off to our destination in Blythe, Blythe Island. Uh, with that being said, guys, continue enjoying the show. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. guys so we made it here to Bucky's in Daytona we're filling up get some breakfast and continue going on the road we got Fernando with his Avion here filling up as well what's up Fernando all right guys
right guys, so we're all set up here. We finally made it to our, our site. We're all set up as you can see. And look who we got here, Robert up, from guys? RV and Boating. <laughs> oh man, you got the game going on. Oh huh? yeah, we got the whole setup here. So this is gonna be our Thanksgiving spot here for tonight, guys. And then tomorrow, I'll nice. show you around the park, what's to do around here, uh, all that good stuff. Oh, With that being said, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Site number 20 in Blythe Island Regional Park. It's full hookup. That's what makes this one of uh, this campground special. We got our friends here. We got Mary. We got Giselle. Our setup. We're gonna do a fire now. Look at all this back here. The ultimate setup over here, guys. We're gonna watch a football game. We're gonna do Thanksgiving here, and we're gonna make the best of this. Okay. So thank you for watching. Good morning, guys. Coming to you live here from our side of Blythe Island Regional Park. Uh, what an amazing night yesterday. We had Thanksgiving here in our side with our friends Fernando, uh, his wife, Robert and Stella. And wow, it was super good. But um, yeah, guys, so a little bit of rain this morning. But um, let me show you around the campground and stuff. Um, and then the goal for today is we're gonna check out Brunswick and St. Simon Islands. So stay tuned, stay tuned, and let's continue enjoying the show. This loop here, it's where we are. This 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Right here, just to give you an idea. For the most part, the entire uh, campground has very nice sights. And this is our friends here, Fernando and Mary, their site with their antique avi avion. Site 30, very nice. Yeah, guys, very nice. So what I'll do is I go um, and show you the entire campground. Okay, okay, guys. So as I mentioned, we're gonna go check out Brunswick and Tin Time and Islands. Check out what uh, what's there to do. Probably a museum, sightseeing, probably a brewery as well, and then bring you guys along. Okay, so continue enjoying the show. Okay, friends. So we made it here to Fort Frederica National Monument here in Tin Time and Islands. Um, this is it right here. And this is their visitor center here. Very nice. Mr. James, one of the big leaders here in Georgia. All this cool history. Very nice museum artifacts from many many years ago oh, look at that. super cool all of this used to be a town all of this let's see here and check this out person that used to live here was the shoemaker and the soldier right here so that was a house here but let's see who used to live here so just to give you guys an idea this is how the houses they used to look like in there and that was the foundation the oyster shells I guess this was a glass of wine all right and let's see which one is this one? So far, everything's very cool here at the Fort of Frederica. This, all this was a town. And um, all right, so this was a new house. So similar as the other one, just this looked nicer. But that was the foundation right there. Cool. And this one here got destroyed by fire. So it was a two-story duplex. 
he got destroyed by fire. Wow. And in this one here, first settler on this lot was Daniel Cannon, the carpenter. That's where he lived there. These are some of the artifacts they discovered from this side here, so. Wagner Triangle File. This was built after everything was Wow, that tree looks majestic. Look at that. Whoa. Big. All right, now let's see who who lived in this one here, because this looked like it, it was big. So this was the candle maker. Yeah, the candle maker was falling. Yes, sir. Uh, that was the light back then, so. Yeah. The it candle maker. It has to be the chimney in. Yeah. And this one here was for Samuel Perkins, a coach maker. So this one was for the doctor right here. And then that right there is the fort. And that was the fort, how it used to look like. Right there. Okay, so this was the well fort itself here. Let's check it out. Very nice. Very nice. Lots of history here. Let's see on this side what it says here. So, the King's Magazine. The cannons. And these are the rest of the cannons here. English 32 pounder cannon. This is the fort here. What was left? So, did you see over there? Really? Do you like this? Yes, I love it. I love okay. learning about history and cultures and way of lives. So this is right here, the fort. So this is the storehouse and uh, south, and then in between here with the little spaces were um, uh, the stone hedges. What was it? In this here, the barracks. This is how it used to look like. All this right here. Okay, friends, and there you have it. For Fre Frederica here in St. Simon Island. It was very good. Um, just to think that all this was a city in the 1700s, you know, lots of history here. Very good. Now we're gonna go into the town of St. Simon's, probably grab something to eat and continue enjoying. So we made it here to uh, this barbecue joint here in St. Simon it's Island. Southern Soul Barbecue. Southern Soul Barbecue. The wait line is basically out the door. It takes about 45 minutes, but it's definitely. It looks like it's worth the wait, so we just order our food, so we'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. This restaurant, as you can see, has been um, debuted and written in all types of Southern uh, magazine, Gardner's Gun, Southern Living, Southern Vessel. This is definitely, it looks like a win, guys. We'll let you know. Please stay tuned, and we'll let you know how it goes. I know I have to give me a local group. IPA, baby. What do you get, babe? I got a middle right because I was so nervous of making people wait in the line for ordering the food, so I just got my basic middle light. Can't go wrong with a middle light. Can't go wrong with a middle light. We're here waiting in our for our food with Fernando, his wife, Mommy. Giselle, Giselle's mom, in the barbecue. Mom, mom, mom. I forgot the name already. I think it's Southern. Southern. Okay. So this is some of the food here. How's the food? Here? How's the food? Delicious. This is my right here. We got a brisket. Food came in. Real barbecue. We got one more coming. One more coming. One more. One more coming. There goes Southern Soul. Southern Soul here, y'all. Hey friends, we're back here in our site in our RV. St. Simon and Brunswick was amazing going there today. Uh, what you what you think, babe? 
I thought it was great. I love the little shops uh, and the St. Sinan Island Historic District. We went to Fort Southern Frederico. Seoul. We went to Southern Seoul uh, restaurant. It was really good. It was definitely worth the wait. Uh, guys, check it out. Uh, so tomorrow we're heading to Savannah. So, so we're just gonna chill here in our site. We have a fire going on and call it a night. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Now I must admit, this is one of the things that I enjoyed the most while I camping. A nice fire. It was such a chilly night that it made this fire better than normal. Our friends Robert and Stella from RV and Boating joined us and we had a blast. Good morning guys, coming to you live here from Blythe Regional Park. Another great morning here, uh, chilly morning. Uh, the goal for today is Savannah. We're gonna go check out Savannah and stuff. But first, um, as I promised you, I'm gonna get a full <clears throat> video of the campground, the sites, um, the park. So let me get that going for you and then we'll take you over to Savannah. The main entrance is about 1.5 miles to the main street, but I'm not gonna go all the way there, but you come from here, from over there, and you wanna make sure you go that way. That's where the campground is, and this is their marina. This is their marina here. Um, they have a fishing pier here. You could launch your own boat, as well as store for snacks. You could buy bait. Um, overall, very nice. Let me start by saying the location on this park, it's uh, right off I-95. That's I-95 over there, as you can see. And it's in between Jacksonville and Savannah, Georgia. Now, before I go to the sites, check out this cool uh, shrimp that they built here with all like recycled stuff to let people know about the, the dangers of littering into the ocean. So, you know, it's filled up with water, plastic water bottles. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. One of the great things about this park is uh, the location, as far as well as the the price. They're literally within all the coastal, coastal towns of uh, coastal Georgia. You got Brunswick, you got Jekyll Island, you got St. Simons, you got Savannah, you got all these towns within 30, 40 minutes that you could check out by staying here in this park. So you'll check in, that's their office right here, and then you're off to your site office here all these sites here they get this nice view here of the lake so site one now i must say this was the nicer loop out of the entire campground uh site number seven was my favorite uh all the sites here they felt more secluded than the rest of the campground and they had the lake view The loop that we're on and as you can see all the sites are very nice as well it just doesn't have the lake view like the previous ones Campground has two bathhouses. This is one of them here, and it was right across our friend's site, Robert and Stella.
Now these sides coming up here are my favorite as well. This one here with the Jayco, the Airstream, and this big uh, motorhome coming up right now. They're all super big rig friendly and they're pulled through. My favorite besides site number seven. have it guys all full 97 sites uh, the sites here I will say they're all very woodsy they're all very spacious very nice there's better sites than other but so just book your site accordingly to what you prefer okay friends so this is the lake here very peaceful this trail goes around the lake Canadian geese so nice. and the ducks Hey, duckies. We got here to the bridge. Very, very peaceful. Uh, I really hope you like the whole tour of the campground. Um, if you enjoy our vi videos, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, now we're gonna get uh, off to Savannah, spend the day there, then come back here, just chill, enjoy the day, and um, wrap our stay here, and tomorrow we gotta get going. We made it to Savannah, very historic city. We're in the John Westleaf statue here. Crossing or going straight? No, straight. Hey, do we, we have a Savannah sticker or magnet? Look at this cute little store. I love it. And we made it to Forsyth Park. Wow, guys, look at those houses. I'm surprised they're not decorated Christmas. The famous fountain of Forsyth Park. Such a beautiful fountain. We got some chess here. Hopefully, I get next. Very nice park here, Forsyth. Always, always, always a pleasure coming here. guys that was a good chess game although I lost I had the guy he just checked me me at the end but it was a good game but anyways let's continue enjoying Savannah and bring you along all right friends now we made it here to Moon River Brewery so the Rosemary Swamp Fox um, which we actually just opened up last night um, let's try it right now and then that's so retro so it's crossed out we the lady white picked it we're all out oh fire uh, okay so this, this is not the retro no this is the it's oh. not the lady in white okay. we got the sampler oh, the here so yeah. this is yoga pants yeah yoga pants yogity yogity and so. look who arrived to the party hey guys hey. here we are in savannah you finally made it. with the crew the Lester crew and the Fernando crew. Oh. Historic steps. It's lit. Historic Super steps. lit. Hello? Historic steps. I feel like I'm a Euro. Yeah. yeah. And we are finalized the date by being here in the rooftop. That's it. We're at the rooftop lounge right here in Savannah, Georgia. Top deck. Top, top deck. deck. It's called top top deck. deck. We're gonna have some great meals, some great food right now, some great eats. And some great coffee. And then we hold back back to the campground and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Spectacular coffee. Stella.
people are leaving right now. Safe travel, guys. Bye. It was fun. Look at their beautiful rig here. They got a long seven, eight hour drive right now. <laughs> okay, friends, Blythe Island here in um, Brunswick, Georgia was a wrap. Uh, now off to our next destination, but that will be in our next video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you next time. I can't hear you. I'm good. You got it. Whoa, that was close. Real close. But we made it happen. Thank you for watching, guys.